I'm a firm believer that essentially everybody is capable of learning. One of the issues that we have currently is that the way that the educational system is set up, they're not actually being asked to, to learn how to think and interact with other people. The future of the country depends upon our ability to educate tomorrow's workers, citizens, and leaders to handle the responsibilities that come with living in a global knowledge economy. There's a great deal of evidence that student-centered, active learning environments provide a better educational experience than more traditional instructor-centered environments. All of education could be improved by adopting a POGO philosophy. Process-Oriented Guided Inquiry Learning, or POGL, is a student-centered, team-learning instructional strategy and philosophy developed through research on how students learn best. When you bring POGL into your classroom, you have to be willing to give up some of the control of teaching. Because some of the teaching ends up happening in the group, and that's what you want. It really focuses on the instructor as somebody who's helping students learn things, as opposed to being an instructor who's teaching students things. If you're in a class and you understand a concept and a student asks the teacher to re-explain it, you might just like tune the teacher out and be like, this is really easy, like I don't need to listen to this. But here, you're the one that has to explain it. When kid A gets it, he can help his group figure it out. Three questions later, kid D is the one that gets it and he helps his group out. So they all see a responsibility in teaching each other. It keeps getting reinforced in you as you reinforce it in them. So from that perspective, the idea that the students are talking to each other is really important. But another way that that's really important is that it provides the instructor an opportunity to get insight about how the students are thinking about things. If they're one student sitting in the back of a room, 20, 30 people, they can be very passive, and the teacher doesn't necessarily know what's happening in the brain of that student. But if you're sitting with a group of three other kids, you have to be very accountable to those three students. And when the teacher walks by, she is gonna know whether you're participating or not. I can listen to what they're saying and get insights about, are people understanding? Is there some aspect to this that I need to explain uh, to the whole class? Or are there, is there a particular team or group that's struggling with one idea, and I can focus in on that with them and let the other teams continue working? The other part that's really important is what we would call the guided inquiry part. We have these specially designed activities that are structured in such a way to guide students to construct understanding from the information that they're provided. It's a, a delicate balance of giving the student enough guidance that they don't get frustrated, and yet having them feel like, wow, I figured that out on my own. It's not about just getting the question right, but understanding why that's the right answer. That, on top of now I have a really solid understanding of the concept, is what makes Pogol gold. Since its inception in 2003, the Pogol Project has grown into something more than a network of professionals or even a community of practice. The Pogol Project has been different than any other group of teachers I've ever worked with because reflection was built in from the very beginning. That's the kind of environment that I want to have. I want to have a, an organization that is open and that encourages people to participate and have a stake in what we're doing. We don't just plow through and do things. We do things, we stop, we look at what the effect was. Could we have done that better? The practice, combined with a strong sense of community, has led to recognized success in STEM education and to a new distinction for the program. I wanted to highlight how Pogol as an organization is doing something so distinctive and so important in its work that is really helping to create reform in STEM education in ways that goes beyond what's typically happening on many campuses. In a recent study, the Pullius Center for Higher Education at the University of Southern California has recognized the Pogol Project as a community of transformation. 
It was one of just four national projects to receive this designation. It's great to have recognition that what we thought was happening and where we were really transforming lives is actually happening. And it's incredibly stimulating and exciting and moving to be with a bunch of like-minded people who are really you know, motivated and dedicated to making the kind of changes that we've, we've talked about. Deep philosophy and acting the philosophy and having a community of support is what makes them transformative. Just like when the kids go, wow, I got that and I did that all by myself or with this group. The teachers are saying, wow, look at what we did in this group. And we're making a huge impact on education across the world. Pogel's ambitious vision is an educational system where student-centered learning is the norm. I would love for every single classroom, third grade on up, to have Pogel once a week. I know it'll help prepare me for the test or an AP exam or college or even the workplace after. We're designing the learning environment and intentionally having students develop skills such as effective communication skills, teamwork skills, critical thinking skills, which are really the things that you want to have as the outcome of a high school or college education. Community members, colleagues, donors, and friends will continue to come together as reformers who want what's best for their students. Its most transformational power will be not simply the number of instructors who use the method or the number of students who learn from it, but the way that the ideas associated with Pogel disseminate throughout society. Pogel can have an impact on the faculty that they're working with and the communities that they're working with in terms of their school environments and really bring people together towards educational transformation. Together, the Pogel Project looks forward to continuing to change education. Thank you for your commitment to student-centered education and for being a vital part of the Pogel Project.